Hi my kiddos, today we are going to talk about one-to-one -one correspondence. And in math, that means that we use our finger, our pointer finger, to point to each object and count as we go. So we're gonna use a book today to do that with. Today's book is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So let's look at the cover and we see a big caterpillar on it, don't we? And we are going to count the segments of the caterpillar, the body segments. See all of those in green? So let's work together on this cover and count the segments. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we see that there are twenty body segments on this caterpillar. Now let's count the feet that we see. Ready? Get your pointer finger ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. We see six feet on this caterpillar. Now this book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Eric Carle is a, an author and an illustrator. So that means that he not only wrote the words to this book, but he also created the pictures. So let's get into this book and see what else we can count with using our pointer finger. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. Now let's count these with our finger. Ready? We'll start at the one piece of chocolate cake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He ate through ten pieces of food that gave him a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... 
He was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Thank you for sharing this book with me and thanks for helping me count one to one. Now you have a packet that you're going to be given so that you can practice counting all of the fruits that, he, that the caterpillar ate through and all of the foods that gave him a stomach ache. So you can take that home and show your parents how you do that. Thank you. Bye.